Coach, you mentioned that your defensive shape has enabled a lot of the shots that you're getting off the offensive output that you've had through four games. If I had my math right, you were you scored the same amount of goals this year as you did last year, but you had obviously less wins. Is there something to that defensive shape enabling your offense that um, hasn't been working as well this year in allowing more goals? No, I don't think so. If you look at the, the moments we've given up through the first two, three games, we had conceded you know, in our defensive transition moments uh, in and on par with last year. So we're looking at that and, you know, and we count even the games of these, these games, how many hard counterattacks we're giving up, you know, and, uh, and, and what of those lead to shots in transition against us, right? Against Austin, we gave up 0%. Uh, you know, we, we got transitioned, ended with shots against us zero times, 0% of those plays ended in shots, right? So uh, against the uh, DC, for example, was 15%, right? So they have a couple of transition moments, um, not many. If we're giving up five or three or, or four, we're conceding, we conceded two goals in this last game. So, you know, uh, we look at these all the time and we see where we are and, you know, and we think, is that a structural problem? Is that just a moment, a lapse? Is it an individual mistake, individual errors? Then you can start correcting them, right? So we look at a whole bunch of these things and, and look as a collective how we can uh, repair that moment, right? And that's what we've been working on this week. And in particular, you mentioned uh, individual system moments. I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are on the left side of your defense. Uh, past couple of games, Joseph Hanksell, Jared Stroud, they've had those moments where they've been able to take advantage of it. Is there anything individually or... A the system that needs maybe adjusting on the left side? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can just, because I could take you through four or five moments until it got to these moments, right? And then we would have to plug up holes somewhere else, right? So with us being the collective and how we operate, you know, for us just to say, oh, yeah, this is where the cross came from, or this is where it happened. It seems like it's the left side. Like, I mean, I don't put too much stock into that because I can take you through three, four, five moments, uh, 20 seconds earlier, within our principles that, yeah, could we have done something differently to affect the outcome of four moments later, right? So it's about being proactive and uh, trying to read the next play and trying to put people in positions to succeed rather than to fail. So, um, and that's my job. You know, I take that responsibility and we look at that and we criticize ourselves uh, as a staff and, and uh, we demand excellence and high standards uh, from everybody in this building. So, yeah, we look at everything. What was it with one line of time? John Uh, excuse me, Bradley, eight different goal scores, I believe, over these first five matches or so. Can you just talk about how pleased you are with the offensive balance of the team and also playing Salt Lake for the second time in such a short span of uh, matches? Is there any difference between preparing for a team a second time when you play them after you've played them so close to the start of the season as opposed to, say, if you played them again in a month or two when there's more space in between the two meetings? Yeah, I mean, for your first question, I don't, you know, if you have a look at last year, we had so many different goal scorers as well. So it just shows that, you know, we have a very competitive roster. You know, we wanted to be double deep on each position and we wanted to get guys in um, who can who can play already. Um, and you've seen guys step in, Dirk and Totland. These guys can step in and play straight away and make uh, impactful um, changes and moments and set other people up uh, for good play. So, you know, it's just part of the system that the system is the winner all the time. Um, over time, you can see it over the last two years or a year and a half. Um, and if we get the guys in the right positions, they will get rewarded regardless of personnel. Um, so really happy for that. And, you know, playing, playing Salt Lake, it's been a couple of weeks now. Um, again, you know, we don't want to delve too much in the past. Uh, we know we had some really good moments um, and we gave up, you know, a, a really poor one um, against them. So, you know, I think we're in a different space right now. We've, we've had some good games under the belt. We have a good rhythm. We've had two weeks of back-to-back -back, um, training sessions and regular scheduling. So, you know, weak uh, spaces between the games. So we feel we, we're better prepared. We feel we're in a better rhythm and, and got good momentum going into this game. Uh, you've talked about you know playing the same opponents so close together in the schedule. Um, is there anything from your side um, that you were maybe a little disappointed in in that first matchup that you're looking for them to keep on on Saturday? Yeah, I don't think I think if you start looking three four weeks ago and you lose four games that we've had already, you know we've had moments. Uh, and really good moments at that, right? And I, I've just said, we've had two good weeks of training. We've had two really uh, strenuous weeks of, of momentum building with us. Um, and we've had some good output, you know, and we've shown some great courage, some great character to come back in games and, 
you know, one thing with my group and, and I take my head off to them, you know, there's a bit of fight in them. There's a bit of desire uh, not to lose a game and to get back in the game, right? So uh, we've challenged our group, the desire that we have to go against it. Can we do that from the onset? Can we do it from the very beginning to put the games on our terms a little bit early on? We score a goal, you know, on the weekend and we concede a minute later, right? So, I mean, there's no, there's a less ideal way to to celebrate Josh Yarrow's goal, his first ever goal after nine years in the league. Um, you know, we'd like to celebrate those moments a little bit longer. And then at City Park, when we can put teams under pressure, and usually that's when we take a stranglehold on the game. So, you know, um, yeah, I don't think it changes anything the way that we've been working. I think we've just get, been getting better rhythm. Guys are coming back from, from, from injuries and getting fitter and getting stronger. Um, so I see a good will to win in this team. Uh, just to, to anyway, I assume it's out. He's not playing this week. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just want to just want to make sure. I want to be clear on that. Fact. I just want to. All right. Yeah. Um. And, and is Dora ready to go? Ninety minutes. He's ready to go. You know, the question is, you know, he hasn't got a 90 minute under his belt yet. So uh, we'll, we'll remain to be seen if, if he can go 90. But uh, yeah, he's put himself into contention. He's got up to 55 or whatever it was last weekend. And every every minute he spends with us on and off the field, uh, looking at film, you know, the coach is doing a good job, you know, making sure he's seen these moments and, you know, coaching him through our system and, and the principles we play by. Um, but yeah, he's progressing in a good way. He was like feeling, he was feeling bad about that second goal oh you spoke to him yeah. oh okay yeah i mean listen yeah we're an honest group uh, we re reflect well as an as an individual and as a group and uh, yeah i think we all know um this is pro football and small margins um have big outcomes right so you know if we don't take care of those small margins we, we get punished in this league and you know we have i think everyone has room to grow um and we're definitely not here playing the blame game with anybody um, but yeah, we just have to hold each other accountable and make sure that we're pushing each other to the highest standards that we've lived by for many, many months now. And does opening day of the baseball season mean anything to you? It's good. I mean, listen, any any sport in St. Louis for me, I really come to work smiling because there's such a good energy and the people in the area, you know, it just, uh, it's awesome. So, you know, whether it's been the hockey uh, this past season, whether it's been us um, and, and now with the cards. So, yeah, I, I just enjoy this sport because, yeah, the people of St. Louis just love their sport. And, yeah, I love smiling faces. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that because you love the smiley. That's it. No, he's happy. He's happy. Don't you know? Never get to the bottom of it, but there's no ill will meant. How's your how's your risk? Wrist is fine. Um, I have a new brace now. It goes up above my thumb. Had a little bit of an issue with my thumb against DC, but uh, nothing to be scared about. So yeah, still have to wear my brace for maybe three, four more weeks. Um, maybe shorter than that. I'm not too sure. But uh, wrist feels almost back to normal. So happy about that. And obviously, you don't have to wear something on your wrist all the time. Right? No, I don't. I, sh I actually should have something on my thumb right now, but... Uh, it was a little bit of a rush after training, but, um, but yeah, uh, daily life, I don't wear my brace, which is, uh, makes everything much easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, four ties in five games. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about ties and how classic, how would you like to get rid of it or is a different result? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a loss, but some of them may have felt like losses. Um, some games we come out of, is it, did, did we lose two points or did we gain a point? Um, so, so yeah, I mean, listen, I think you guys heard Bradley speak. I think we're doing all the right things. I think it's kind of just a matter of time of those small moments. We need to be a little bit sharper and, um, maybe less naive in those, in, 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 in those moments, um, those, those crucial moments. And, uh, once we, once we get those going our way, I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll definitely be okay. But I think the, uh, underlying, uh, underlying point is that we're doing the right things. And I think, uh, Things will will start going our way. In the playing more in the attack this year mm -hmm. than he did last, uh, have you noticed any differences this year compared to last year in the attack? 
Um, I mean, listen, I think we have a lot of the same, the same pieces up there. We still have a lot of quality. We have a lot of pace, a lot of power. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it was eight different goal scorers. So, um, I think we're, I think we're still finding the back of the net. I, I think we're still doing the right things. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it feels different because it's a new season, but at the same time, I, I think a lot of the guys are so familiar with each other because we played, it's now been two seasons, almost, not two seasons, maybe a season and a fifth, maybe less than that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're super comfortable with each other. Um, and it's, it's, it's really fun to be sharing the field with, with, with all those guys. Do you have different approaches uh, playing mostly on the right side mm -hmm. with Sam's up there versus Klaus or, or Newby? Any differences that you have that plays off of them? Um, not necessarily. I think, uh, you know, with our system, when we get the ball, we try and go vertical as quick as possible, try and find the quickest route to goal, um, with quality. Um, and if that's not possible, then obviously we try and, you know, reset it and then kind of keep, keep more possession. But I, I don't think the personnel really matters. Um, cause our principles, our principles are always the same. So, you know, so long as whoever's on the field sticks to those principles, I think we, we, we will continue to look dangerous up there on that side of the field. And do you think people somehow don't understand the importance of gaining a point in a game? It seems to me like there's been some amount of criticism, but rightfully so, but that's compared to last year, mm -hmm. which was... Record setting? Yeah, record yeah. setting. So in terms of the normal season, it strikes me as these points at the beginning of the year are extremely important. Yeah, listen, a tie is better than a loss. Yeah. Um, having said that, even from within, it, it is frustrating for us as well because we would obviously like to win. I mean, everybody wants to win at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, points are points are important in terms of you know week to week momentum. It's sure is something better than a a loss, you know. Um, so maybe you know further down the line, you know deeper into the season, maybe these points will matter a lot. Um, so yeah, it's very good to not lose games. Um, nobody likes losing. We, we don't like losing. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you would have, I mean, we don't really like looking back at last year, but last year we started off five and oh, you know, right. like you said, or like I said, it was a, it was a record setting season. So, um, uh, so yeah, it's a, I don't want to say it's a bit of a slower start, um, because the league has grown. Um, it's really good to be unbeaten after five. That still does feel really good. Um, and the feeling within is good, but, um, but you know, we're striving to be better and uh, we definitely want to start getting some wins in the win column because at the end of the day, those are, uh, those are all that matter. How do you feel like you guys have navigated the early part of the season? We talked about the schedule. Mm. Green card. Yeah. Yeah. Early on. Um, how this team kind of rally behind each other as we kind of get to the season now? Yeah, like you said, it's been a it's it's been a tough start to uh, tough start in terms of scheduling. Um, definitely different from last year. Um, but I, I I always say this uh, when I'm in front of you guys, we have a, a team of people or a team of players who compete every single day, um, compete every single day to win minutes, to win starting spots. Um, so that internal competition that we have drives us every single day every single week and it drives us pretty much throughout the whole season. Um, so, so there really is no let up from us. Like it was a congested schedule. People did go down, but we have that next man up mentality um, and people are always ready. Um, so when people do get thrown into starting spots, it's not really a surprise because it's, you expect it. You expect, cause you train so hard, you work so hard, you stay out. Everybody pretty much stays extra afterwards. Um, people expect to start, people expect to play. Um, so it, it has been a more chaotic start to the season, but I think we've dealt with it really well. Um, and I think we'll continue to deal with the season really well because we have guys who are, who are, you know, always hungry. Let's talk about what you guys did last year, right? Starting mm -hmm. five and over this year, you still unbeaten. Yeah. After five, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned changing them. Mm -hmm. What's the hunger like in that locker room? Because even before the season with the record setting season mm -hmm. you guys had last year, yeah. it seemed like you guys still had that underdog mentality. Is that hunger still alive as ever? Yeah, of course. It's, I, I think it goes back to, it's, it's always us against ourselves. We sometimes we use, uh, you know, other outside things as, as, as fuel for us. But at the end of the day, it's, it, it's, it's just us against ourselves. We try and uh, we try and push ourselves to be our best because at the end of the day, you know, it, it's, it, it's our job and we want to make our families proud ourselves, the fans, everybody proud. And that, um, and that definitely doesn't come easy. Um, and it definitely doesn't come by, by not being hungry and being kind of, you know, 
laid back about the situation um, that uh, that this kind of sport and, and and this season takes out of you. You know, it takes uh, takes 100% effort at all times. And, uh, and yeah, that's what we try and give. Indy, just talk about Josh's goals. I believe that's his first professional goal in his nine years in, in the league. And just, you know what he can can contribute defensively, but just for him to have an opportunity at the other end of the pitch and to be able to convert it, just talk about how happy you were to see him score that goal and also all the hard work that he puts in really on both sides of the field. Yeah, I know. Listen, first and foremost, Josh is uh, Josh is definitely a leader on our team. Um, he's, a, I mean, just a fantastic guy to be around. Um, if you have any problems, you go to, you know, you go to our, our leaders and Josh is definitely one of those guys. So Super, super happy for him. It's been two weeks in a row now. We've had center back score, and they don't know what to do when they score. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where Josh was running. He was looking around, kind of lost. I, I, I was on the field to help Joachim out because I was close to him. Um, so I was able to point him towards the corner, Josh. But, uh, but yeah, he was super happy. I, I mean, everyone was super happy for him. But, uh, but yeah, like just short and sweet. Really, really good guy. Great competitor. Great defender. And. Uh, yeah, on the score sheet for the first time in his uh, in his MLS career, so everyone was super super happy for him. Andy, uh, talk about just the overall chemistry with your group and having so many of the guys from last year. You guys are around mm -hmm. this year. Uh, with having that experience together for more than a year now, how does that affect? a response after a game, whether it's win, loss, or draw, mm -hmm. uh, and, and how you guys just – you have the experience now of, of how a full season plays out, how that will impact match day and then just like mm -hmm. throughout the week during training. Um, yeah, listen, I think we, we haven't tasted, you know, loss in the regular season this uh, so far this year, but but ties, it's just – it kind of just sets the, sets the week up for us, you know. When we tie, we're not, I mean, even when we win, we're not, you know, fully happy. Um, but yeah, listen, everyone has a, a, a season together. Um, a lot of experience, I mean, we still had a lot of experience. So, I mean, the guys who didn't have experience, they now have a year's experience. But I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't really think much changes from last year. Um, you know, we're still the same team, the same group of guys, uh, pr pretty much the same staff, aside from a couple new additions. Um but yeah, we kind of react the same way we did last year, which is um, which is possible. have back-to-back -back losses until maybe late in the season. Um, but yeah, the resiliency and the hunger of this group is uh, is at an all-time high, and it's 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 kind of stayed there from from last year, from the start of last year. I don't talk, I don't, I don't like talking about last year, but even from the start of last year to now, um, we just have hunger. This group has hunger. We've kind of we kind of have a knack of, of of not knowing when we're down and not knowing when to quit, um, and I think that's a really good characteristic um, of us. So, I mean, to answer your question, I, I I don't think that much has really changed in how we in how we respond to stuff. I mean, some guys have more experience um, after a year, but I think uh, it kind of mainly stays the same. Yeah. yeah. Didn't watch baseball growing up. I watch Bundesliga, Premier League, um, and maybe some NBA, Celtics versus Lakers. Didn't play baseball, play baseball never watched baseball. Wasn't really a fan until I came to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you felt like you had to be a fan when you got to St. Louis? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very sports city, so I was, I was drawn to the sports teams here. And after going to a game or two, I think I realized that I like going to baseball games nice. um, and I like the cards. Um, I went to a blues game the other day. I like the blues and uh, yeah, maybe I've turned into a little bit of a St. Louis sports fan myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, growing up, didn't really watch it, but, uh, but now can definitely say I'm a fan. Yeah. Thanks guys.